Uh oh. Is that dirty water? How'd that get in there? Too much liquid. Hmm. Oof. Why is that stopped? Why is that stopped? Oh, there's tiny little drops of polluted water. Oh, I see. But it's not going to go through because this machine's down. Yeah, this machine's taking damage because of the polluted water. Fucking joy. Hold on a second. Is this low enough to mop? Fuck. Insufficient oxygen generator. Ha! It's probably just so slight. Hold on, let's check that. Oh, no, it's kind of low. Ah, you know, overall, it's fine. Just from killing that one, huh? We'll let it go, it's fine. Uh, it probably is running low because of this water supply is fucked up now. It's, it's been contaminated. So, let's... I think we should dump it out and then put a filter in over here. Yeah, let's dump it out first. So, let's go plumbing, liquid vent... And then we'll make this like a nine. This will at least clear out all of the liquids that we have here. So we're no longer damaging equipment. Because we are gonna, like, right, this thing's already, yeah, taking a beating here. So let me go ahead and snip this. Nope, snip, snip, snip. There we go. So now all the water, all that water, and actually we could take this and put a zero. There we go. So we're gonna dump all that water back into the system here. We have to fix this problem soon, though, because this is this water supply is critical to the rest of the base operating. So, <laughs> so we do need to go ahead and fix this uh, quickly. So let's see. Water's gonna jump in there. Lots of polluted water. That's not good. Some ice too. Ice just popped out of there, huh? Oh, okay, okay. They haven't put it in the bin yet. Got it. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Is that polluted ice that's going in there? Oh my god. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Well, going to do that anyway. Okay, so no crushed ice. Okay, good. It's just 7.5 tons of ice. Wow. Okay, so what we need to do is um, create a filter, I guess, that just dumps it into this system here. So let me see. Should I use a passive system? No, let's just use the actual liquid. The actual. I'm not going to use an automated system. Would like to, but it's just too much of a hassle. Oh, it's perfect, actually. We'll do it right here. So let's see. We'll go water goes in. We will go. Water goes in. Oh, they're bringing it on the other side, so. Yeah, this is better from here. Can I get it down and over? Kind of. I I I don't like hmm. Let me kill some of these pipes real quick. So I can think straight. Because there's a way that you, you inject it into the line, and one way it works, the other way it does not. So we want clean water to go out. Oh, this is a much better setup. Yeah, so we'll put it here. It's actually right on the power line, too, so we don't have to waste any resources on that, because we desperately need all the resources we can keep our hands on. And then, uh, so polluted water. We'll just say clean water here, and then polluted water up here. There's nothing else, so it's just it's binary. So we just go like this and put that there, and then put this here. And we'll just say clean water goes down the pipe. Everything else goes into the sieve. And if the sieve takes a beating every once in a while, that's fine. It's not going to be very often. There's no other liquid in here. It's either going to be dirty water or it's going to be clean water. One of the two. And then we could kill this. And then we can go over here and we can reconnect these pipes here. So, uh, plumbing. So we still have some dirt in there, which kind of sucks, but eh, <laughs> it's fine. So reverse it. What, 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 what? Green is clean water, yellow is dirty water. Uh, blue. 
blue and uh, yellow. So this these little drops right here is polluted water. You see it's polluted and mixed with clean water. So what we should see here is... Oh, whoops, I didn't have to put filter on. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Water. Water. Good. So now what we should see is a separation. Clean water going down. Dirty water going up. There we go. Clean water is going to basically merge in with the system that cleans the water and puts it back into the to the, the bathroom system. And then uh, dirty water uh, or clean water is going to continue going down the line. And that should... Yeah, there we go. So now we can go ahead and take this, set this back to 200. That way it can add to the mix as well. Does it realize it's configurable? Yeah, 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 it's great. Like, you could you could filter anything you want. It just costs power. Like, it's 120 watts. Not a ton. I, I'm still... Given how much shit we've done and how far we are, I'm still running this entire base off of natu two natural gas generators and a couple pedal bikes. Like, this is, a, this is its own circuit right here, right? So this is all basically just operating just on by itself. Um, I do wonder, what is our... No, no, no. Sorry. The reason for the oxygen uh, decrease is not entirely because we turned this off. It's also because the uh, the liquid uh, feed from here has been... Um, I mean, look, there's basically no liquid coming through. So why is it stopped here? Zero micrograms of polluted water. That's what the problem is. This thing is busted. Uh, I wonder if I can snip that out. And then rebuild it. Sometimes you get like one tiny little drop of something stuck somewhere and it just ruins the whole line. So we're going to, we're gonna, we got to break it now. Then we'll replace it with another... See that tiny little drop of water right there? Yeah, zero micrograms. It ruins my whole day! Exactly. What I use? Uh, yep, that. So, so once that's built, that should solve this problem here. Otherwise, the whole system will get backed up again. Yeah. Yep. Zero micrograms of polluted water. Okay, so... Okay. It's gonna be a dick. Let's deconstruct this. It's gonna make a puddle on the ground. A zero microgram puddle? No, nothing. Okay. <laughs> Good. And then we'll put... The pipe back. I'm gonna call any achievement earned. Research complete. Thank you. So now... There we go. Zero micrograms. <laughs> That's annoying. Iron ore. Okay, getting there. Getting there. Look at that. Getting there. Get there. Choose a blueprint. Let me see. Uh, fertilize. Oh, I should keep in mind that we also had extra, um, an extra body. So every person consumes like twenty-five or so kilograms of uh, oxygen per day, give or take, depending on what they're doing. Um, let's see, mole hands. What if we should grab another one? Ugly crier, destructive. Ugly crier is going to be the thing we want. Uh, but this one kind of sucks. Noodle arms. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Let's see. I'm just going to get some fertilizer instead. Oh, wow, the bed hasn't been made yet. Oh, it's a one. <laughs> really don't care to give this guy a give hug shot a bed. Let's go ahead and turn this on. How much allergy do we have? We have tons of allergy. I think we just went through and got a whole bunch too. Organic. Uh oh, not a ton. Pasta. What are you talking about? Let's see. Uh, organic. Oh wow, this is all algae. So no, no extreme shortage of algae anywhere. We're good on that front. Lots of slime down here too. I wonder if we should build another path for. Let me see. What's the heat look like? Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say, we could build a path across here and then just let this one system, one station be 
what people use for everything, but no, it's not gonna work. Uh, this thing's not in gas because, oh, there it goes, okay, because it's not getting water. Now it's getting water. So we finally got water to the system. Everything's fine. Water's at 113 degrees. That should change because those are big ass globules. So that's gonna be, yeah, it's fine. And now we're gonna get all the water out of here. Can we mop this yet? Too much liquid, damn. See, long commute, building lacks resources. We're punching this and we're getting good. Look at that. Uh, how many atmospheric suits do we have just laying around? Clothing. I have five pieces of clothing. Some of that's going to be snazzy suits. Yes, yeah, so we have three, three atmosphere suits and two snazzy suits. I think we have to build another, um, another station. Uh, for the, uh, uh, what's it called? Atmospheric suits. What if, what if we... Force them to put suits on before they come down here at all. No, because all the storage is here, and that'd be a huge pain in the dick. Yeah, so we should make two different stations then. Because they can't come in here and work. We have, we have a big project coming up over here, so... Uh, yeah, I, I gotta have them suited up for that. Where am I gonna put it? Any oxygen supply. No pipes over here for oxygen. There's this right here, which is doing a fine job. Uh, no power. <laughs> Why no power? Oh, you know what? It's because the batteries. Oh, okay. So the batteries are telling this thing. Why isn't that running? Pipe blocked. What pipe is blocked? Oh, this pipe? No. Oh, yes, it is that pipe. Why did I run into this problem before? I didn't need that much power. Now I need more power. That makes sense. Kind of a dumb spot for this. So the problem is that the way it's merged right here these little chunks of carbon dioxide are going past this this exit and because this exit sees that it, it i think it's putting out too big of a block to squeeze in with these little blocks therefore it says it's blocked does that make sense um because it doesn't the, it doesn't merge to like it does in real life like gas would just merge right it fills the volume with whatever it can and it builds up back pressure and i think in oxygen included it looks at what's in the pipe, and if it can't squeeze into that pipe perfectly, I guess, then it doesn't work. So you have to mer not not when it's overlapped like this. It just won't exit the system. So what you have to do is build a, a, a secondary pipe that you kind of feed into. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this up a little bit. We're going to run this across here, and then we're going to have this thing just dump out right in front of this. That way it's just constantly uh, working on that, and we'll build a gas bridge. And then we're going to connect these like so. This will solve this problem right here. And then we'll kill this and we kill these two or these few. That should solve the problem. Yeah, the, the, the machines are choking out because they can't get the power because only one of the damn machines are running. This is not even, the batteries aren't even charging anymore. So yeah, I wonder when that actually started. Or if it's been like that the whole time. Is this the micromanagement game? What is the end goal? Like, can you win? It's hard to say, like, if you could, if you win the game, but there's so much to do and so many different ways that you can build out a base and build out whatever and do your research that this truly is a game that, you know, where it's like, it's not about the end, it's about the journey kind of thing. Uh, honestly, I don't know if there is an end. You just go to space and continue expanding uh, your colony from there. Hey, you just keep going. But it takes so long to get there. Like it takes, I mean, you could, there's people that speed run it, I think, that do it pretty quickly. But yeah, it takes so long <laughs> to get to that point that you end up like, you know, I'm, I think I'm like probably 800, no, 400, 500 hours in or something like that. I've never even built a rocket. I mean, I was playing before they had rockets, but still, like, it's been in. Just haven't, you know, haven't done it. 
Okay, so now both machines are running. Perfect. That was a weird one. So now we should have power to everything. We should have a nice steady supply of oxygen to the entire base, which hasn't really been much of a problem. No broken pipes over here. Building lacks resources. Exosuit. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Cycle support ready. Let's go look at the report. Oxygen generation is through the roof. <laughs> I don't even know what to do now. Uh, did I kill one of these things? I mean, I'm eventually going to run out of out of uh, out of algae. It's running out super fast, actually. So we might have to switch things up. Uh, let's go ahead and actually disable this building. Let's disable both and see how we fare. Why is this body temperature? Oh yeah, well this the computer's been running for so long. It's uh, yeah, it's putting out the heat. It's actually warming up the neighboring area. This machine puts out a ton of heat too. Waiting for materials. Oh, it's actually oh, it's not quite done. How much iron ore did it go through? Iron ore, 26 tons, but now we have 23. Wow, so it takes a long time. Yeah, so this is, uh... This is putting out a lot of heat. Look at that, it's actually kind of contaminating the the, the, the area here. But, um, I think it'll be fine. Just, just until we're done with the research, then we'll move the research stations. Uh, and then when the rock crusher is done, we're gonna move that. We're gonna put another apartment down here. And then that will keep this whole bottom area nice and, uh, cozy. And the top area nice and uh, nice and cozy as well. With the separation of insulated pipe. Or, um, flooring. Yeah. Water's almost done! They didn't break this. I guess I didn't tell them to. But that's working optimally now. So now we're actually getting optimal power supply to everything, which is great. I feel like we're using so much of that power off to the left here, which is kind of funny. Just draining those batteries constantly. Let's go ahead and speed things up. 10x speed. Did that bed get built? Yes, it did. Hug shot. <laughs> Poor guy. But our food supply is great. It's actually too good because... I mean, now... This thing's full, so it's telling this to turn off, right? Enabled by automation grid. No, that should be the... Oh, that should be the opposite. Um... Oh, he's making mush fries now. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I do need to... I, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need a... Uh, a not gate, I think. Yeah. Right? I think it's a not gate. That, um... Will... Fix this problem here. We'll put it right here. We'll see how that does. With our, with our iron that we just made. Let's see, can I snip these little cables here? Good. Perfect. So now, this is what I want. I want when it's full to tell them to stop making food. <laughs> uh, by turning off these machines. And now these machines are disabled by automation grid. Perfect. I don't know what we're going to do with all this food that's grown out of here. Look at my puffs. Iron ore. Okay, that's, a, that's quite the trip to... Go up there and collect that. We're gonna do some more work up here. I wonder if I should go ahead and put in that pole. The stripper pole. I think so. It's a lot of resources, but you know what? If it's gonna cut down these commute times by a significant margin, then we should go ahead and put the, uh... We should put the stripper pole in. From the top to the bottom. And that used, uh, like 6,000. That used a huge chunk of our iron supply but we have like I said the only thing we have around this entire planet or this entire asteroid is pretty much iron so good good yeah there we go can it carry stuff down the ladder let's follow let's follow somebody as they come down Oh, they're using the build right now, so let's wait till it's built, I guess. Let's see, a snazzy suit. We'll take a snazzy suit. Was the iron gut? Hold on a second. Narcoleptic, palsy periodically, doesn't need a bed. Um, destructive. No, binge it, ugly cryer, early bird. Falls asleep periodically, also does not need a bed. Um, not 
yet. Not yet. We gotta fix our. Yeah, not yet. Ooh, baby. Winagami! What up? 20 months already. That was fast, wasn't it? <laughs> it was actually fast. Uh, and it's, we're at like 53 months, I think, for the overall, which is significant. It's crazy. But yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for that support. I want to see these guys get on this fireman's pole and ride the bitch all the way down, just like that. Look at that. That helps a lot. I wonder if we should put one on this side, too. Let's see. Why not? We're gonna go up, right? And we're gonna cut through this eventually. So maybe what we should do is... Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's actually do it. Let's do from here all the way down. There we go. And then we'll build a ladder from here. We were going to clear all this obsidian on this side anyways, or abyssalite. Uh, because this abyssalite is inside of our safe zone, right? So we want the abyssalite on the outer perimeter to stay intact. Because it's a natural insulation. Um, as you can see, we already kind of cut through some of this. Some of that heat is starting to get through. So we're going to have to, I'm going to have to eventually maybe cut through here and uh, reinforce it with more insulation or something. Um, I should probably should do some of that a little bit more over here too. I wonder if I could do, do like two layers, so like one, two, three, four. I'm going to cut this out and we'll come back and we'll add more. What's in here? Nothing really important. This is good. We're going to expand upwards anyways, so the first few months were like a month or two at a time in the initial batch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh... Get this out, actually, since we can. Yeah, this is good. Now they're going to have a nice, clean way to get up and down fairly quickly. Speed things up. Research is done, it looks like. Oh, they can't go past this point either. Oh. <laughs> We're going to need that planetarium. Let's go and get this other one going here. Way more organized. Let me... I, I've, I've definitely... gotten better. But it's taken some serious time. <laughs> it's taken a lot of time to get to this point. Where I'm actually, you know, keeping things... Uh, clean. Let me see. Should I go through here? I want to let some of this out. I think that might be the best way to do it right there. And then I can do this. No. Not yet. There's some complaining going on. Hmm. But I, I've definitely gotten better for sure. But I'm also like playing pretty simple. Like, you know, I have very little electrical everywhere. My gas is actually, I mean, over here it's pretty significant, but really it's pretty simple as well. How's this doing over here? Well, the area is turning green. It was orange before, so this is a, this is a positive step. Maybe we could stop this thing from, uh, stop this area from melting, but I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get that lucky. You'll open up nearly the entire asteroid by cycle 1000. <laughs> I want to try to stay in this cozy area, man, if I can. Rotten mush fry. Oh, well, because there's no room in there. So, yeah, that's going to happen. And where does that go in here? No, it goes down in here. And this. This is where all the nasty goes. Organic. Rot, rot pile. Yeah. I just wanted to finish these two. And then I'll, I'm going to kill those two machines, I think. And then move them. No. Let's just keep going. Let's put a planetarium somewhere else. What up, corpse? All this starvation. I put I put it, look, I put it in a super fast pole. And now they're starving all over the place because they can't get somewhere fast enough. Get on my face. Hmm. Rocketry. Oh, I have the rocketry tab. Gantry provides scaffolding across rocket modules to allow duplicate access. Okay, I don't know how any of this stuff works, so this is this is definitely going to be a next time thing. Next time on. <laughs> next chapter. 
We put in a silver coin on the corpse. All right. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Tons of allergy right here. I wish we should mine that out. Maybe we should go ahead and uh, do some of this. Can they reach that third one? I can't remember. Do that one. Do that one over there. They don't have anything else to do, so... We'll just use this time to go through and do some of this. Food has decayed. Yeah, there's a lot of food sitting out over here, so that's gonna- that's going to decay. We're gonna lose a lot of food. Uh, because we just have too much right now. Like, way too much. I don't want to build another fridge, because I don't feel like we necessarily need to. Like, we have a good amount of food coming in. Uh, although, maybe we should put some of this food in a food bin just to keep it because some of it's going to decay for sure but yeah, we'll put like right here then they can step down and they can run it's like all this food up here it's it's losing its freshness so something fell at the bottom of your pole that dirt fell there oh shit nice nice catch thank you yeah sand sometimes it gets in the way Lucky it didn't, uh, nobody <laughs> got stuck there. Let's see. So there, now they'll start to move food over there. And that's so at the very least, because carbon dioxide build up here, it'll keep it sterile, so it'll stay... It'll stay with us a little bit longer. I think it's a good thing nobody got stuck at the bottom of your pole. <laughs> yeah, Sierra. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. How are we doing on... Okay. This thing's getting frosty. 32 degrees. It might actually turn things around over here. Like, it's if it gets cold enough, it might actually keep all of this from uh, melting. We are letting in quite a bit of heat. I, I feel... I mean, even though I, I'm certain that we're not, I do feel like we are. So I want to build, like, just a, a couple layers of insulated. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? What the fuck? That's fine. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Uh, polluted ice. We're gonna have lots of polluted liquids all over the place, but I guess it's just all gonna get dumped down into space. I still do WoW content. You know, uh, I put WoW, I put Blizzard on probation for six months, uh, which ends uh, in, um, it ends in March. So probably in March, we'll start streaming World of Warcraft again, classic specifically. Uh, just go in and just, you know, I want to keep leveling up uh, my, my rogue and keep building on that. I really enjoyed classic. It's just, you know, Blizzard just made me mad. And so, you know, you got to know the legendary shows? Yeah, I don't do any shows about it, but, um, but I mean, like, yeah, I'll stream every once in a while. Fun. Let me see. Night Owl, gain some nights, he cannot do doctoring, and destructive, binge eater, and a vomiter. We'll just do fried mushroom. <laughs> fried mushroom is the answer. Are they done? Not quite. Advanced research. Oh, good. The Rock Crusher guy is done. Sweet. We can start taking this apart and get ready to uh, expand this out into another set of apartments. For two more. Two more folks. Although, I wonder if we should put them at the top instead of the bottom. Because at the top, they have a quick way to get to work. Nah, it don't matter. It don't matter. We'll just do it down here. It's fine. So we're going to get rid of this. Uh, let's see. Deconstruct. We're going to deconstruct this. The kiln will uh, deconstruct as well. We'll leave the, the <laughs> we'll leave the cots just in case, I guess. Uh, and then we'll put in a uh, another apartment. You coming back after the world of PV, world PVP gank? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Oh. It's been a long time. Oh, hey. Well, thank you for that. Is it Heinz Flores? Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, we got all kinds of new people today. What's going on? Damn. Thank you, guys. Heim's Flores. Well, shit. Well, shit. Welcome. Overworld's pretty much after AV and WSU came out. Oh, that's funny. 
Nobody could have seen that coming. <laughs> uh, this thing puts the piping and everything down too. But the pipe's gonna need a little bit of finesse! Like, look at this, this is, uh... Wait. I don't think any of the piping is laid here. Look at none of the piping is, is in. That's good, I can just build it myself. Cool. So this will eliminate some of the heat builder that we were getting from all this. Maybe we should put another layer of, of insulation down here. Like right here. At least for some of it, to keep some of this locked in. You can see like the heat seeps up through here. It's not a lot, but it's enough. Um, this probably doesn't help either. Maybe we should get replace that with uh, insulated tile. At least that we can save some of those resources. The only reason I put that there was because uh, the gas tiles there was because I wanted the... Um, uh, I wanted a place for carbon to, for carbon dioxide to, to seep down, but now I have a carbon skimmer right here, which will just leave here forever. Um, and that'll take care of it. So good, we'll leave this locked up. This AV is the best honor or hour. It's where every PvP -er is grinding. Almost everyone was just looking for honor to get rank 14s. How funny. Yeah, I have to go, I'll have to go ahead and get some ranks. The staff sergeant, sergeant, something. It is pretty warm down here, 100 degrees. Hopefully this balances out a little bit now that we've gotten rid of these machines. I like you in Legendary as a person, uh, and you seem like a chill person on the stream too. People are normally different from YT and streaming. Oh yeah, no, I'm the same, I think. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same. Um, I would say if you're used to some of the older content that was more edited, edited like a BFF report and everything, um, that was definitely a lot more yelling. Uh, and just because it doesn't make a lot of sense, I don't necessarily yell a lot on stream. Like I don't yell constantly. So if you watch like BFF reports back to back, you get used to hearing my voice basically yelling all the time uh but you don't get that here so it's definitely a little bit more laid back <laughs> but thanks i appreciate the sub man a comic cam is fake as hell of course so fake <laughs> a good meal nice oh we're keeping our food stores are good 178,000. i remember one time i had 250,000. uh hold on a second uh hug shot you need that one I had 250,000 uh, kilocalories of food, and I was like, and, oh, 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 actually almost 300,000 kilocalories of food. I remember thinking like, oh man, this is great, I have so much, I'm never gonna run out. And then like shit started hitting the fan, and I started losing electricity, and then like all my fridges and everything basically just, I just lost the food. Like it was just gone. And it was just a complete fucking catastrophe. I ended up going, in, in, in so few as probably like 20 cycles or something like that, I basically went from being just just a glutton to so much food to just being uh oh well oh oh well that thing just died uh to being uh uh broke and hungry don't you have at least one dupe at the bottom of the stomach i probably do i don't think we're at the point i don't think we're getting to the point where we have to make a decision where we have to kill anybody off <laughs> for anything like that <laughs> i hope not <laughs> Sorry, guy. You're just eating a little too much food. Yes, exactly. All right, so let's get some of the pipe laid. Pipe laying jokes. Let me see. Plumbing. God, I didn't really copy any of that over, huh? Let me see. Can I do it the same? Let me see. There's clean water right here coming from there. Good, so I can bring that across. I'm trying to m mirror what I have up top there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then there's a dirty water pipe all the way at the end there. Is that it? Looks like it. But I think I could probably... Oh, I see what I did up top. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, that works, actually. Yeah, we'll go up here. Feed that into that. Good, that takes care of that. And then uh, these ones, I guess I could just... Back to here. We'll put drywall up eventually, and that'll take care of that. Cool. This sh yeah, we shouldn't have any back. The water being fed in is all um kind of partitioned out like this, so I think this will be fine. Is just in the calorie intake not? Yeah, it's not a thing anymore. I uh, I don't know when they changed that, but it's been a long time. It used to be that you can actually tell them when to or how much food to eat. And it was great. We're actually running low on oxygen. 
Ever since I turned these things off. Yeah. We have tons of space. We're opening up a lot of space, so that's not helping too much. Um, and we also killed our, our, our oxygen diffusers because we, we were running out of, uh, out of algae. But there's a huge amount right here that we could go through and get. This will, I mean, this will last us forever getting that. So you know what? Let's go and turn these guys back on. I don't want to add any more electrolyzers. Like I have two electrolyzers that are that are doing work, and I feel like just adding any more is just gonna. I mean, this one's just not even not even actually pumping air anywhere except for into the atmospheric suits. So that one's doing a good job doing just that. But I do need to have another source. See, so they're picking up algae right there. He just picked up a bunch of algae. So let's go ahead and start to get some of this. Let me see. What is that? Iron or something? Or, uh... Copper ore. Oh, nice. So, yeah, we'll get all that. I want to go around this oxalite here just so it can provide me a little bit of oxygen. Uh, there's more algae in here. There's oxalite right there, too. Hmm, that's annoying. I guess we'll just go right through it. And then we'll block this area off. And we'll come down here. And we'll do the same thing here. Let's go... Do a strip mine. Can't do it from here really because all this dirt's gonna fall. So we'll just wait till they're done with that. Yeah, I used to like being able to control how much food they could eat because I feel like I felt like it gave us more time to make mistakes. <laughs> Cause I could, I was able to lower them down to a pretty low number. <laughs> like it was pretty laughable. It was just like, oh yeah, you, you could survive off of 500 calories a day or something and do all this physical activity. Yeah, we really are actually running low on uh, on oxygen. Our, our super dense oxygen that we had, which was twice as what we had here. This is, this is only 800. We were at 1600 before. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty bad. But the oxygen, just because we're pumping out of these two machines, it's going to solve everything. So, uh, looks like we're good. We're done. So these guys are done. We need to get a planetarium going. So where are we going to take that planetarium? Let's put it up here. On top of everything. Let me see. What is it under? Station, I'm guessing? Station. Virtual planetarium. Needs power. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, let's put it somewhere else. How about, uh, you know, I could put it, I could put it right here if I get rid of this fridge that we're not using. Perfect. Uh, you can see, uh, stations. Virtual planetarium. What? Disappeared. What is it made out of? Yikes. Wolframite. Let's make it out of Wolframite. That sounds cool. <laughs> That's a cool sounding material. We'll use that. And we'll do this. And then we'll cut this. And then someone is going to work in there. Who has a good research trait? Oops. That's not what I like who is, uh, I don't think I need this. Some, one person, yeah, one person actually has astronomy. Ah, virtual planetarium usage. This would work. Does anybody else have that unlocked, though? Donis wants to get up there, but I'm not going to give it to him. Wolvie wants to get up there, too, but I'm not going to give it to him either. Uh, Hugshot, he's got some improved carrying, so we're going to do that one. That's a good one to have. Give him a hat. Um, actually, you know what? If he want, if he wants, I mean, fuck, I'll give him another one. Thank God their morale is so high. Some of these guys have so much room to add more, like, more skills. But I think Lindsay's gonna be our, uh... She's gonna be the farmer and also the astronomer. Let me see astronomy. Super, look at that hat. Skill points available, she got lots. Oh, I guess they have to go... Oh, you know what? The Wolframite's all the way over here. So, yeah, they're got to run over there. They're grabbing right now, actually. I bet you probably got it in his hand. Uh... Let's see, I'm curious now. Carrying Wolframite, yep. I know what my dupes are doing. 